Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CRC. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. That being staying up above the purple line right here, which on my chart denotes the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, so as time goes by, that line's gonna move itself higher and higher. Uh, but when I say ideal, that does not mean that if the price falls below that level, that means the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the, if the price could manage to stay above there, that would definitely be the biggest sign of power. In my mind, more so the must hold level, and I'm not saying the price will ever test this, but just to kind of justify uh, why I would call it as 960, um, is let's say that the price, and again, not saying this is what's gonna happen, but if the price were to come down in 960 and then just continue on down, at that point in time, what would you have? Well, from a very literal perspective, you would have the price literally right back to where it was before you know making the big move and nice move today. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. Whereas if the price came down here, behave like that, and then began to work its way back upwards, at least at that point in time, sure, it's not really preferable that the price pulls back that much, but if it did and then recovered, you'd still have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows down there, and you know, you'd even have lows down there. And if you envision each one of those as stair steps, then from the overall perspective, you'd still have progress being made in the upwards direction. So like I said, as of now, yeah, preferably speaking, you wanna see the price stay above that 50 period moving average, but if the price doesn't quite hold up there, then yeah, you definitely wanna see the price hold up above 960 for the reasons just discussed. What about areas of resistance? As far as where the sellers are at, right now it's all about that $10.30 mark. I mean, if you go back through the history of things, you can see that hasn't been exact, but from a general price congestion point of view, kind of just general area, right up here around 1030 has been a very stubborn level. I'm not saying the price can't break through or anything like that. I'm just saying that according to the story that's being told to, to us via the chart here, apparently the price is really gonna need to bring it to A game if it's gonna be able to not only fight above that level, but actually stay up above it. So all in all, very nice movement today, and we'll see if the bulls can continue to build upon it or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.